A grieving family member speaks out to News 12 one day after the murder of an Orthodox Jewish businessman, Menachem Stark. This as elected officials express their outrage over the New York Post's coverage of his death. News 12's Ali Wolf reports. Life will just not be the same without Menachem. Abraham Buxbaum opens up about his brother-in-law, Menachem Stark, after his family's emotional roller coaster this week. The most loving husband, father, brother-in-law, friend or business associate. Loved ones say the father of seven was a well-respected family man, but that's not how he was portrayed on Sunday's cover of the New York Post. It says who didn't want him dead next to a picture of Menachem Stark. Thursday, Stark was kidnapped from his workplace. Two days later, Nassau County Police found his burned body in a dumpster in Great Neck. We are disgusted. We're outraged. Sunday, elected officials condemned the paper, saying the article justifies Stark's murder. Clearly, no one should act as judge and jury, and clearly not the New York Post. In America, if you are a bad landlord, you go to housing court, not the mall. A spokesperson for the Post released a statement late Sunday reading the Post does not say Mr. Stark deserved to die, but our reporting showed that he had many enemies, which may have led to the commission of this terrible crime. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family at this time of loss. Finding out who did it will not bring Menachem back. Still, loved ones say they're trying to come to terms with a life cut short. Short. Allie Wolf, News 12, Brooklyn.